Hi, hi, performer. I so love seeing you here. Today, we're going to talk about how you can double your efficiency. Because many times, admit it, you feel like uh, I don't have the time, or it's like I don't have enough time, or I haven't done enough. But what if, my friend, the opposite actually is true, that you do have the time? And what if you could learn how to utilize and use that time in a much better and smarter way? This is Maria Linden, trainer and high performance coach, teaching you about success and fulfillment. So today's topic, today we're gonna to cover three tips that will help you double your efficiency. And the beautiful thing here, my friend, is that it's actually not so hard as one could believe. Many times people think about, you know, then they have to do like double the amount of tasks, but that is not the case. Instead, uh, the reason why many people feel so stressed and why they are not getting the results is because they are being busy they are being busy, being busy, just doing a lot of things, responding to everyone else's agendas and so on. But what I want you to start with is always clarity. So the first thing that I want you to do every day before you are rushing into the day, decide on your top goals. Uh, I usually recommend my members and my clients to decide on their top three goals for that day. So by just doing that, that first step, deciding on and writing down your top three goals for that specific day. You know, it's like you will increase and elevate your efficiency so much. And the reason is, of course, that you will know what to focus on and what to do and what it is to actually want to achieve. It will also help you prioritize and know what you should be saying yes to and no to. So that was the first thing. Uh, the second thing that will help you when you want to double your efficiency very easily is for you to be very clear and specific when it comes to what to do. So when you are writing down your tasks, do not fill that paper or that app or whatever, you know, with just like random things. No, base them on your goals. So base your daily tasks on your daily goals. So let's say that you have um, chosen, for example, the goal for you today is that, okay, I'm going to create one, one of those pages for my web page, you know, whatever. And then for the task, you might say, okay, so first I'm going to decide on the structure, for example. Next, I'm going to create it. And the third thing is that I'm going to like um, just uh, adjust it, like the graphics and so on, to make it visually appealing. So there you have three very clear uh, tasks. And always also make sure that you write also like the verb, what to actually do, because it will help you. So that was number two. And the third thing that I want you to remember is many times the reason why you're not getting the results or you're not getting enough done or always feeling stressed is because you are constantly busy doing taking action working struggling pushing hustling and what i want to urge you to do and especially also in this conversation about high performance and work-life balance is for you to also focus on your being so instead of only listing everything you have to do and everything you have to achieve and accomplish also remember that when you are creating high performance and those types of results, that is when your doing meets your being. So you need to have both. So ask yourself very honestly, are you a person who is more focused on the doing part? Or are you a person who's more focused on like the being and how you feel and the inside work? So depending on where you are the strongest, you usually need to strengthen up or give space for, I should say, give space for more of that other because then you will create that balance that will help you to get to the next level. So what I want you to do here is uh, this third step is for you to decide on a keyword and hopefully an emotion that is related to how you want to feel. So what person do you need to be in order to actually achieve these results? So this is very much about the person that you are, so your being. And this could be, for example, Perhaps you need to feel calm and centered in order to be very efficient and focused and get a lot of things done. Or you might need to be a person who is determined. You might be a person you want to feel, you want to feel successful. Then start also, like really also from that part, because that way you will really speed up the process and also be able to manifest and create this more effortlessly. My friend, there you have the three things that I wanted to share with you that will help you to double your efficiency. Because efficiency is not about only getting like a lot, a lot of things done. It's also equally, and even more I would say, about getting the right things done. So when you start to learn and focus on that, you will get the results. 
So let us now summarize what we have been talking about today. So when you want to double your efficiency, the first thing that I want you to do is for you to create clarity. And I want you to list your top three goals for this day. And you can also even settle with just one goal because sometimes that is what is possible. But uh, list either on one, one or your top three goals for the day. Second step is for you to then um, list your tasks and those tasks should be based on your daily goals. So it's not just random things or other people's agendas, it's what will bring you forward. And the third and last thing is also, I also want you to focus on balancing your doing and your being. And here I want you to select a keyword that describes here, especially how you want to feel or what person you want to be. So this could be, for example, you realize that you need to be more focused or more calm or for example, more happy. So just like really select that part so you can also work from the inside. Also, as a gift uh, for everyone who subscribes to us, our weekly love letters, uh, you also get the checklist. So my checklist, double your efficiency. And here you have everything uh, and also a walkthrough also of these steps, plus also some extra material. So just feel free to go to lindamaria.com and sign up for my newsletter, because that way I will be able to send you my latest video with tips just like this. Plus also some special gifts and secrets and bonus that I only share with you in email. So head on over there and with all my heart, I do hope that this serves you, my friend. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. And also remember this, you have the power to change the world. Keep believing in yourself and keep elevating your performance. And always choose love above fear.